adorable um, galaxy marble coffee mug um, we're gonna be using epoxy and mica powders and alcohol inks and um, some glitters so what I'm gonna be using today is all easily accessible to you at local craft stores Michaels Hobby Lobby etc um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over all of that and all the materials you need and then we're gonna go ahead and create it um, stay tuned I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up we're gonna go ahead and make the coffee mug so stay tuned everything to you um i already prepped my cup i spray painted it black um i didn't need to show you guys that figured you would know how to spray paint a cup um so i'm gonna do a gorgeous as i said before a little gorgeous marbly black pretty basic and simple it just has a lot of glitters and components to it so it looks like a lot but it's really not um marble um coffee mug so I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything I have laid out. Um, I'm gonna be using glitters um, by Recollection. You can get these at Michael's. Um, they're super affordable um, and I like them a lot. Um, so we're gonna be using Petal, um, Kelly, uh, Eggplant, Enchanted, sorry, I'm going too fast, Enchanted, possibly uh, mermazing. I don't know if I want to use that one or not. Um, and we're going to be using mica powders. I got these on Amazon. They're not top quality, top notch, but honestly, I feel like a mica powder is a mica powder. I've never really noticed a difference with the fancy brands. Um, so these are on Amazon. I think it was like $14 for like 10 or 15 of them. So they weren't super cheap, but they weren't super expensive either. Um, but I'm going to be using a purple and I'm going to be using a deep dark blue. Um, I also have, I might be using this, I'm not sure, um, a silver um, alcohol ink um, by Ranger, and we might be using that too. I believe I am going to use that. Um, okay, so I already mixed my epoxy. Um, I use, um, here, I'll show you. These are the ones that I use. I believe it's um, pronounced Illuminate. Um, this is the ones that I use. There's part A, part B. It's one to one ratio. Um, I mixed them already for you guys. Um, and if you're, you want to watch me mix, 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 mix. So I skipped that part. Have everything already pre portioned out. So I'm going to do the mica powders in very small portions. I don't know if you guys can see in the cup, but it's very small. You don't need a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a thin, thin, thin layer of epoxy over the whole cup. Um, the handle is a bit tricky, so you just got to make sure you get in there really good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn this spinner on. And we're just going to lay a real thin layer. We're gonna go ahead and I'll put this over here. I can use this. We're gonna mix, I am gonna use this alcohol ink. So I'm not gonna put the alcohol ink directly on the cup um, because then there'll be a little bit too much movement. So I'm gonna pick the one with the least amount of epoxy. I'll do like three or four drops. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. So it looks like so. All right, and I'm just gonna do very, very tiny, like even tinier than that, very tiny little brushes. Um, and kind of just touch it so it disperses a little bit better. Super tiny, and just kind of go around the cup. Super, super tiny little like swishes. All right, that's actually a little bit more than I would normally do. 
Um, okay, so then we're gonna mix the, I'm gonna do the blue. And I take about mm, this much or so. Ooh, can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing or not. Anyways, that about that much, and I just dump it in there. Step it off to the side. I'm just gonna mix that really good. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on the bottom, so. So with this cup, you don't need a lot. Do some on the handle there. You really don't want to overdo it um, or it'll kind of take away from the cup. All right, set that aside. I might use a little bit more of that later depending on how I feel. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and mix the purple. See, and I don't really like the way that looks, so I don't wanna touch that up. Just gonna do another little dash of it in there. Go ahead and mix that up. I'm gonna go ahead and do some in kind of the middle here. Make sure you get some on the handle. And I like to kind of take the popsicle stick and run it through it so it doesn't look like a big glob line. See how that kind of was separated there? All right. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. All right, so then I'm gonna take my purpley colors. I'm gonna do a little bit of the eggplant, which I love this one. It's so pretty. This is like a mix of chunky and fine. Um, I love chunky fine mixtures. They're my fave. So I have, this has little, a shaker top with small holes. Um, if you don't have that, you're going to want to come real high up if you have like just a, a, a little ramekin or however you're doing it. Um, but since I have the little holes, I kind of feel safe enough to just tap. Very, very minimal. Kind of where the purple is. You kind of want to follow the purple. Very little. Very, very little. Um, you don't gotta go crazy. I love this simple look, actually. It's like one of my favorites. All right, so that looks good. Then we're gonna take Enchanted, which Enchanted's just a chunky mix of like teal-ish and purples. Um, so I've actually never used this before, so I gotta take the little thing off. Um, it looks like it has some little opaly colors in there too. I'm not sure, but you're going to want to do the same thing. Use the small opening and I'm going to go very, very light on this. I don't want a lot of this at all. So I'm going to go pretty high up and it also disperses a little bit more. It's not so close together like the eggplant. Very minimal, like literally like not a lot at all. Um, and then we're going to go in with this teal color, and this is just a fine, I think it's called Kelly, yeah. This is a fine teal glitter. And I'm gonna go a little, he not heavy, but I'm gonna go a little heavy right in the middle, like right underneath the purple, if it'll come out. I don't wanna go too heavy, but because I don't have an actual teal mica powder, I want this to kind of be its own swirl. Went a little heavy there. So I'm just gonna take my thing, run it through it a little bit. 
Same thing with this, I think. I don't want it through it so it breaks it up just a wee bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this silvery color just in random areas, kind of next to the purple again. I forget about the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and go on with some up down there. So you just play with it however you want to do it. No rhyme or reason. Um, so it's starting to look really good, actually. I really like it. So I'm going to go in with this. This is a chunky fun mixture called Petal, and it's like purples and blues. And I'm just going to go with the same thing with the small holes. And I'm going to go a little closer to the purple and just tap ever so lightly. So I'm kind of rotating back and forth between glitters and micas because I want to give it a little depth. So I want some of the micas to be on top of the glitter, some of the glitters to be underneath the micas and so on and so forth. Um, but I'm just kind of randomly doing them. I kind of want to tap so some base on the bottom. Um, I think I might grab a pink. I'm gonna grab a pink. Oh, I'm starting the video cut out. I had to go step away for a moment and I think you're gonna notice a difference in time. Um, so I went and grabbed Unicorn, um, also by recollection, and I'm just gonna add some pink just because I feel like it's not there yet. So with the fine glitter, I'm gonna go real light the pink super light you also want to continuously like follow the contour of the cup when it's turning you don't want to just like stay in one spot all right and i'm gonna also grab i keep changing my mind i'm also gonna grab an opal color because i want a little more shimmer so i'm gonna do arctic um which i used on my last tutorial and I'm going to do very lightly in the spots where there's not much going on. And then I think I'm going to stop touching it because I, I'm a very, I'm the person that does too much. Um, and then we'll end up looking at the cup and be like, what the heck was I even looking at? So with this, it's kind of got like a teal pinky vibe. So when it hits the black, it goes almost like a green and it's like really pretty. Um... All right, I might go in, I keep saying I'm gonna stop, but of course I don't. I'm gonna go with a little blue at the top, that was too much blue. Yeah, I forgot about the bottom again, so. Also don't neglect the handle like I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna stop touching it now. Because if not, I will overdo it. Just going in and smearing some of them because sometimes I don't like it when they're super um, thick like that. I like it when they look more wispy like that. All right, so I'm all done. I'm gonna let this turn for probably six or seven hours, maybe a little longer. Um, my epoxy for some reason has not been curing quickly, so it's been taking a little bit longer. So I'm gonna let this cure for probably six to eight hours. Then I will be back and we will do another coat and then we'll be done. Um, I might actually do two more coats, but I'll come back when I do the last coat, so. Okay guys, so I let the mug run on the spinner or spin on the spinner 
um, for probably about six to seven hours. Um, so it is dry to the touch. Um, what I didn't do on camera because I, whatever reason, my camera did not record it. Um, I did add a little bit of gold. So I did use um, the gold version of that silver one that I was using um, by Ranger. Um, I just did the same thing. I added uh, two or three drops to a little bit of epoxy and just added a little bit. I think that Galaxy Marbled Mug needs some gold. So I went through with a little bit of gold. Um, and then I did, I don't know why my phone did not record. I'm super sad about it. Um, I did go in and I did spray once I put the gold down and it was still a little tacky. Um, I did spray a little bit of alcohol on it. Uh, and that's where you kind of see, I don't know if you can kind of tell in the camera, but there's a little bit of like separation in the gold, which I thought looked really cool. Um, but other than that, I let it spin for quite some time. Um, and I did add another layer of epoxy. Um, so it's pretty much done. I might add one more layer, but there's for all intents and purposes for this video, you don't need to watch me rub a layer of epoxy on when you've seen me do it a couple other times. So just add a thicker layer of epoxy, um, one to one ratio of the same epoxy. And I did five to seven mil, uh, milliliters on the last coat and the ending coat I'll do like seven to 10. Um, just to make a nice thick coat. Um, but just kind of eyeball how much you think you want on there. Some people like it a little less. I like mine a little thicker. Um, but you'll let it run for 24 hours. I'll let it go overnight and then it'll be good to go. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will be posting another tutorial probably by the end of the week. I know I say on Saturdays and Tuesdays, but lately I've been wanting to do a lot of tutorials. So there'll be a lot more content on my page coming up. So stay tuned and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.